Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the ESP32 C3 DIY board review. Okay. So first things, let me talk a little bit about the, uh, why we design this board. Okay. So this chip is a very interesting chip. Uh, let's take a look at the data sheet for it. So this is the data chip, okay? And the main reason I designed this board is because this USB Shiro and JTAG, okay? So this chip itself, uh, it itself has one USB Shiro and JTAG. So we can directly download the software and debug the software through the through this interface, and no need the extra USB uh, USB chip like the previous ESP32. Okay. So the second reason this chip is also has one uh, Bluetooth file. Uh, Bluetooth 5 means uh, it has lower power consuming and a longer distance for the Bluetooth function. Okay, the last reason is it is also one ASC 5 chip, one ASC 5 microprocessor. Okay, of course, it has a, a Wi Fi a function, it has a Wi Fi function. Uh, like the previous uh, ESP32 chip. Okay, so this is the main reason for me to design this board. Okay, so next, uh, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the board. So let me open my camera. Okay, so this is our board. This is our board. For this board, we didn't show anything. This is a bare board. Okay. At this board, we sold everything. We sold everything here. So this here, this is on-board antenna. This is on-board antenna. And this is the ESP32 C3 chip. This is the ESP32 C3 chip. This is the crystal. And this is uh, um, one USB to UR chip, uh, which is uh, CH340. This is one USB interface. This interface through this chip connected to the UR port of the ESP32. Okay. And this is another uh, USB interface. This interface uh, goes through this trace directly to the ESP32. C3, okay? This is uh, uh, another USB interface. And this is one LDO power supply. The power supply get the power from the USB 5 volt, from this one or from this one. So it means uh, you can uh, just plug the USB cable, it can get power from the USB interface, okay? And this is a GPIO interface, this one and this one. GPIO interface, it also provides the um, power supply and the ground, okay? So this is this board, and this is a key, one key and another key, and here, we also have one LDO and um, one LED to display the power on or not. And this another LED uh, for the GPIO control to test the blink, to test the blink example for the, so for the software, okay? Okay, so this is the board, uh, this is the board. And the next things, let's take a look at what will happen if we plug in this USB uh, interface or 
if we plug into this USB interface. Okay. So uh, first, uh, let me open my uh, device manager. Okay. Okay. So this is my device manager here. And this is our uh, this is our board. This is our board. And uh, uh, I remove this one and we put it here. So I have one USB cable uh, is here. Another side to connect my uh, computer. This side will connect to one of my USB uh, interface. So uh, first, let's connect to this port to see what will happen. This is a regular uh, USB to your R uh, interface. It goes through this chip. It goes through this chip. Okay. So I plug it in. Okay. Okay. So you will see uh, something happen in the device manager. And also, and also the LED is power on. The LED is power on. Okay, so let's take a look here. Uh, you will see here. This is USB to zero port. CH340, CH340 chip. Uh, we have introduced this chip in previous videos. And this is common three, uh, port three. This is port three, okay? So, uh, so next, let's change to another USB, uh, another USB uh, interface to see what will happen. Okay. So, so plug into. Okay, you you see something happen for the device manager. Okay, you will see. For this port, it shows the USB zero device, command eight, command eight. Means the computer is already recognized the port for the ESP32 C3, okay? So next, next step, uh, let's download some software into the ESP32 C3 to see whether it will run successfully or not, okay? So uh, I have one uh, blink. I have one blink uh, example here. So this is from the ESP32 SDK uh, example code. So, um, this is the code inside here. And this is the blink. We double click it to take a look. So this is a blink uh, source code, okay? So we use GPIO 10 to, con to control the LED on our board and uh, it will uh, first set it, set it at zero and uh, delay some time and then set the GPIO as high level. This is a low level and this is high level. And then we delay sometimes, let it uh, br blink, blink in the loop, okay? It will blink in the loop, okay? So we also use another software to download it. We use this uh, software to download it. We use this software to download it. This is a download tool. You can download it from the uh, ESP32 official website. So our chip is this one, ESP32 C3, and the developer work more. And here we use the USB port to download it because we wanted to test USB function of the chip, okay? Okay, so here, so this is a software tool. So this tool 
is 3.9.0 version, okay. And here we setting the bin file. This one is bootloader address is this one. This is this is partition, and this is a, a blink bin file. Okay, so this is the address. We click all of it, and uh, keep this setting as default. It's forty megahertz. It's DIO, and then uh, the port. Uh, we need to choose the USB port, which is common eight. And let's check with the uh, uh, device manager. Is common eight. Okay. So next, uh, we click the start to download it. Okay. So you will see is is downloading. Uh, okay. It finished download. You will see the the LED on the board is already blinking here. Is blinking, okay. Is blinking, so means uh, uh, the USB download function work work correctly, okay. Okay, it's blinking. Okay. Okay, so this is the first review for this ball, and uh, maybe in the future. We will de uh, we will test more uh, interesting function for this board, and uh, to see uh, what we can do for this exciting uh, ESP thirty two C three chip. Okay, so this is this video. I'm Michael, and see you next time.